So this is my P5 uh, viscous flow, viscous pipe flow uh, problem. Um, I already have the diagram uh, drawn out with all the variables that were given. So, so like we got flow rate, length, kinematic viscosity, diameter, and then I had to look up the uh, absolute roughness of a steel pipe. So first thing I did was just like, I converted the centimeters into meters. All right, so then the first step I took, um, first step you have to take, oh, at least what I did, was I found the velocity. So V equals U over A divided by 0.5 cubed per second over, um, Put three squared. Right, pi over four. Excuse me. So diameter squared times pi over four. Um, and that gives you six point three seven meters per second. So we have velocity now. So then the next step. Um, would be to find the Reynolds number. Um, so R E equals um, velocity times diameter over kinematic viscosity. So it would be 6.37 we just got meters per second times point three meters over the kinematic viscosity. So that's 10 to the negative fifth meters squared per second. And this very uh, the units all cancel out. Now it ends up being 191,100, which is greater than 4,000. So this is turbulent, turbulent flow. So then with that, you want to find E over D, the roughness we're given at the top up here. So then you do 0 0.45, 0 0.45, that's 10 to the negative third meters over diameter again. 3 meters which equals 0 0.00015 so you have the you have this number e over d and you have a reynolds number so on the moody chart uh you find where these two um cross paths and it's find the friction factor so I got a friction factor of 0 0.017. All right, so then, it, <clears throat> then you have to find the head loss due to friction with some of the variables you just found. So do it over here. Use our friction factor um, <clears throat> times our length, 150 meters times our velocity squared, 6.37 meters per second squared, all over two times gravity times our diameter, 0.3 meters. Meters cancel out, meters per second cancel out. That cancels out. And that that will give you 17.48 meters for head loss. So then you use Bernoulli's equation to find the head loss of the pump. Uh, where's your room? 
Okay, so. <clears throat> So P1, well P1 would be equal to P2, go to zero, the open atmosphere. <clears throat> so then V1 and V2 also equal to zero. That just leaves you with Z1 plus H of pump, I lost pump, and then Z2 plus I lost. So the Z1, I should have written this up here first. Z1 is equal to the elevation of the bottom tank, so 100 meters. And Z2 is equal to 112, which is the elevation of the second tank. So it'd be 100 meters plus, we don't have that yet, is equal to 112 meters plus 17.48 we just got that would give us head pump would be 29.48 meters so then with that we can find the power of the pump i'll do that right here that's the last step power equation they do times gravity times flow rate times head of pump and we got we have P we have gravity obviously kilograms meters cubed times 0.81 meters per second times 0.45 meters cubed per second times 29.48 meters and I'll get you um, 122,331.1 watts and I just converted that into kilowatts um, which would be 122.33 kilowatts And yeah, that's how you would find the required power of the pump.